Okay, so for this recipe, we are going to need two coconut milk cans. And then we're also going to need coconut cream, condensed milk. I'm using like a can and a third because I do have some right here. And then also going to need some sugar. And we're gonna also going to need four eggs. And some vanilla, of course. So first things first, we are going to start melting our sugar at low heat to make the caramel. Okay, so while the sugar is heating up on very low heat, I'm going to go ahead and do the mixture now. I'm still able to keep an eye on the sugar, so make sure when you do this, you keep an eye on the sugar so it doesn't burn on you because it's so easy to burn. And I know I said I was going to use four eggs before, but I'm actually going to be using five. So I'm going to go ahead and start cracking them and putting them in there. As so. And some people prefer to stir this with a whisk but honestly i prefer to blend it it's just much easier to blend everything in the same cup okay after adding those eggs now i'm gonna go ahead and add some of the coconut milk and go ahead and put that in there and it broke <laughs> Okay, I'm going to try to take it off with the knife. Okay. okay. I'm going to go ahead and put that all in there. I got everything from Trader Joe's. Especially when it comes in can, I'm honestly very, like, scared of it because... It's not always the best when it comes to can, so I trust certain places like Trader Joe's or even Whole Foods, organic milks, organic cans, whatever. It's just better to get them at places where where you know it's going to be more safe. So I'm going to go ahead and add the other coconut milk. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. Okay, this one didn't break. But it did splash on me. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go ahead and pour that in there too. First, get rid of the condensed milk that I have in this container. And I'm gonna pour that in there. I know that condensed milk is like not the best for you, but I love it. it tastes so so good. But I try not to buy it so much because I know if I do buy it so much, I'm probably going to be the one who finishes it all the time. And I'm aware that's a problem. Okay, and I'm going to add the coconut cream before I add the other can of condensed milk. Just so I could try this and know how sweet this is first. Give it a little taste test. Okay, it's not that sweet. So I'm going to actually add probably the whole can of that. And a can of this.
Okay, so right now my sugar looks like this. It's starting to get a little bit more brown, but I'm still waiting on it. It does take a little time to get all caramelized, so I'm gonna go ahead and just wait on that and start blending. And I'm gonna go ahead and check on my sugar now. Okay, so it's definitely a lot more darker now. There is a little bit of clumps, but as I heat it up more and stir it, it's going to go away and be all like this liquid. I almost forgot I need to add vanilla. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. Okay, so the mixture is done, the caramel is ready to go, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on this pan. This pan is more for like pies, but I honestly feel like this is very cute to put it on. And with the caramel, you kind of have to work fast with it because it hardens so quick. And honestly, it takes only 10 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and just pour it all in there. And I'm gonna grab my little spatula and I'm gonna pour it in there. And already I see it's starting to thicken up, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make it go. I'm gonna just help it go everywhere. This hardens up so, so quick. I'm gonna try doing it with the spatula. See if that will help it. But honestly, I think it already hardened. And it's not everywhere. Okay, that is fine. I didn't get it everywhere, but at least it's not entirely just in one spot. So now I'm going to go ahead and put in the liquid and now I'm going to pour it in there. Okay, and I do have some left over so I'm going to go ahead and put it in another container. And now I'm going to put this in a water bed. So I'm going to set this aside and start my water bed. Okay, so I have the oven preheating already at 350 degrees. And I have the water bed already ready. And I already made more sugar to caramelize the other pan. And I'm just waiting for this to cool up just a tiny bit more. Until we're... It doesn't move anymore, so I'm going to let it sit for a bit, and then I'm going to pour it in the rest and put it in the oven. Alright, so it's cold enough, so now I'm going to go ahead and just pour it in there. And now I'm going to add it in the oven. Okay, and you want to make sure when you put it in the oven, first you put your water bed and then you put the pans on top and not all together because it could end up splashing all over. Okay, it's the next day and I put on a sweater just in case because I don't want to stain my shirt. But I'm going to have to flip this onto this. I thought I had a pretty round plate, but I think I might have given it away. I'm honestly not even sure what I did with it. So I'm going to go ahead and just move things aside. And then I did have to leave this in the water bed in the oven for an hour and a half actually. So sometimes you can leave it for an hour. But sometimes you have to leave it for an hour and a half. 
And I think it's gonna come out really easily. Okay. Very, very nervous. But. Oh, okay. I'm gonna put this underneath because I don't trust myself. So it's a little bit more to one side, but it came out pretty good. There's a little bit of a tear right here, but I could fix that. Okay. Perfect. Now, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to decorate it. Okay, so to decorate it, I'm just going to add coconut. Sometimes people like to kind of smoke these up a little bit, but I prefer mine just like this. And I'm going to put a lot because I absolutely love this coconut. Oh, it looks so, so good. I'm going to go ahead and now serve myself and I will be back. So excited to try this. It looks so delicious. Mm. Wow, that turned out amazing. Honestly, it's a 10 out of 10 for me. I will definitely be making this again. If you're at home right now and you love coconut, go ahead and get yourself these ingredients and make this recipe. I think it turned out so amazing. I will leave the ingredients for you down below. Super easy to make, just that the time that it takes to be ready is what is a little longer and you have to be a little patient with. But other than that, I love this. So go ahead and check out my description down below. Check out my boyfriend's channel linked. Check out the channel that I have with him as well. And go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.